Hi, Taurus. How are y'all? I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. We're going to take a few moments. I'm not going to take up too much of you guys this time. We just want to take a look into how does that person that you are thinking of, this person that is on your mind, how do they feel about you? Okay, so let's take a look and see. All right, this is going to be um, for October 22nd through the 31st. They are general reads. They will not resonate with every single Taurus. But however, if it does resonate, make sure you comment. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And don't forget to like for my newbies. Hit that subscribe button. Click the bell, okay, for future content, okay? All right, so let's see what messages we have for Taurus. How do they feel about Taurus, okay? Sun, moon, and rising Taurus. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about my Taurus, huh? Let's see. These cards want to pop out everywhere. Let's see. Let's see, got a lot to say about y'all. <laughs> they got a lot to say about the Taurus. All right, let's see. Oh. Mmm. Okay, Taurus. What messages do you have for Taurus? Please give me clarifiers for Taurus. Okay, please give me clarifiers. Please clarify this reading for Taurus. How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus? This is so interesting, Taurus. This is so, so interesting. Because the first card that we have is reconciliation, okay? So someone from your past is returning, okay? So they feel as if maybe you have decided to return or they are wanting to return to you. They're trying to figure out, I feel as if they want to know if whether or not this is worth reconciling. Okay, if this is this is worth you guys coming back together. However, on the other hand here, we have release your ex. Okay, so the time has come to clear your energy. Okay, so we got the six of wands, which talks about victory and success. So I feel as if they feel as if you're worth coming back to. They've been watching you. Here with the Page of Swords. Or they've been hearing something about you. But they, they, I feel like it's spying. I feel like they've been spying. And they feel like you're worth coming back to. But I feel like they may want you to release. Yeah, they're, they're wanting you to let someone go for them. That is what I'm getting here. Why is the page of wands here? Oh, well, someone has a lot to say. There's an ex that has a lot to say. They feel as if you have to let go of someone. They want you to let go of someone in order for you to get back um, in order for you to come around, I feel like they're feeling as if they need to let someone go or they're willing to let someone go um, to for you to return. But I'm definitely sensing coming back together with someone is being cut out. Maybe someone talks too much is what I'm getting as well. Someone wants too much attention. Someone is always wanting to be the center of attention. And I feel like someone is, um, someone talks too much. It's just what I'm getting here. Um, but I, I feel as if they've been watching, they've been watching you. They've been watching you grow. They've been watching, they've been sitting back being patient, watching you. 
And I feel as if they are wanting you to release someone. Because they feel as if this person talks too much and this person is wanting too much attention. And that's just what I'm getting from this as well. This is what I'm getting. All right, so Taurus. Hmm. That T, though. That T is piping hot. That T is piping hot, y'all. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today, okay? If you need any additional um, advice or guidance, don't hesitate to reach out to me. My email address is redefinetarotempress at gmail.com, all right? Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Ciao for now.